$2.2 trillion. That's the total approximate cost in damage caused by weather disasters in the US since 1980. Who paid for most of that? Well, the insurance industry. In this video, find out how independent insurance adjusters have made up to $100,000 or more in one month providing disaster relief after hurricanes. Starting now. You're watching Adjuster TV. Adjusters first. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV and by Paysetter Claim Service. Download the remote work guide at adjustertv.com slash paysetter and by Adjuster TV Plus. Advanced scoping and estimating training videos for independent adjusters. Ride along with us at adjustertvplus.com. Welcome to Adjuster TV, where we help you build a rewarding career as an independent insurance adjuster so that you can help people during natural disasters and earn a great living doing it. But first, a quick thank you to Rob, who says, I have learned just about all I needed about adjusting from Adjuster TV. Thank you so much for watching, Rob. Of all recorded weather disasters in US history, tropical cyclones, also known as hurricanes, when occurring in the North Atlantic, Central North Pacific, and the Eastern North Pacific Oceans have caused the most deaths and destruction. And here are some weather stats. The number of weather disasters in the US from 2019 to 2021 with losses exceeding $1 billion is 56. The total approximate cost of damages from weather disasters in the US from 1980 to 2021 is about $2.2 trillion. And the average number of annual weather disasters from 2017 to 2021 is 17.2. That's quite a lot. In 2021 alone, the US experienced 20 billion dollar plus disasters. That's expensive and as more and more people are building homes and businesses in coastal and flood prone areas, these costs can only go up. The population isn't shrinking and the storms aren't going away, so that's why we have insurance, right? And that's where the Independent Insurance Adjuster, or IA, comes in. IAs are sort of the quick reaction force of estimators who are called on short notice to help on a temporary basis with getting recovery checks in the hands of policyholders who are property owners. And we usually get paid on a sliding scale, which means, and let this blow your mind, that we typically get paid more the bigger the claim is. So we have a lot of incentive to write as complete an estimate as possible so that there is less work and headache for the homeowners as they start their rebuilding process. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. And I know what you're thinking, if adjusters get paid more for writing big estimates, why not just write everybody a huge check? It doesn't work exactly like that. Unlike other parts of the total insurance restoration industry, which includes contractors and roofers, we as IAs have pretty strict rules and oversight over what we can and cannot pay for. Also, we're held accountable through a pretty robust quality assurance department at the insurance companies that we work for. They follow around behind us to make sure that we're giving the homeowner as much as we can using customary and reasonable construction methods and that we are following the rules and guidelines in the policy. The QA people only care that if I say the repair is $10,000, that $10,000 is what a regular contractor is gonna charge to get the work done, again, within the constraints of the policy. If I say more than that, in other words, giving the insured extra money that they're not gonna need for the repairs, then I'm gonna lose points on my personal technical accuracy performance review. If I say less than that, I'm gonna lose more points and also get in a little bit of trouble. It's a common misconception that insurance companies are just out to cheat everybody. Think about it this way. What's more expensive for an insurance company? Just paying the customary and reasonable price of 10,000 bucks? or being taken to court and having to pay probably at least double that for the claim along with all the legal fees. Do the math. The bottom line is that adjusters can and do make mistakes. But for us as independent adjusters, we can get in more trouble for not paying enough than for paying too much. We have to pay the right amount for the claim and that takes training and experience. So how can independent adjusters make $100,000 in one month? We'll get to that in just a quick second. But first, coming up this month, May 2022, Adjuster TV is releasing a brand new free training for new adjusters. It tells you everything that you need to know step by step on how to get started as an independent adjuster. So keep it tuned right here to Adjuster TV for that big announcement. Okay, IAs typically get paid by the claim. So if we can earn an average of say $300 per claim, 
frame, then if we do four of those in a day, that's about 1,200 bucks a day. If we can close claims an average of five days a week on major catastrophe deployments, then in a month, we can close about 86 claims, which is a pretty decent average for an experienced adjuster on a big storm event. 86 times 300 is about $25,000 a month. So that's actually really great money on its own, right? But how could you earn $100,000 a month on a big hurricane? Well, it takes a couple of special circumstances. First, we have to assume that the IA isn't gonna do four times the amount of work in a day, and we can also assume that the complexity and scale of destruction also aren't going to go up. So the only thing left is that means that the pay per claim has to go up. So in order to get to that not so mythical $100,000 worth of earnings in a single month, in this example, the pay has to go up four times. So instead of earning an average of $300 per claim, it needs to be about $1,000 per claim. In normal circumstances, adjusters can easily make $1,000 or more on storm claims on an individual basis, but it's generally not the average. There are a couple of ways to get up to or beyond a $1,000 per claim average. And the first is to become a flood adjuster. While I can't really say that flood adjusters will make $1,000 average per claim, I can personally pretty confidently state that flood claims typically pay more per claim and in many cases quite a bit more than regular cap property adjusters. Flood claims are pretty common on hurricanes, even low intensity ones as well as tropical storms and depressions that drop heavy rains for several days, inundating low areas, rivers, and lakes when all the wind adjusters are home. Water causes a lot of damage, even a little bit of water, and flood adjusters are very specialized element of catastrophe property claims that if you're interested in becoming a flood adjuster, you can check out Colonial Claims, which is the largest flood claim processor in the business and who is aggressively expanding their roster this year right now. If you wanna learn more about flood and getting trained up to handle flood claims, then contact Charles Booker over at Colonial Claims. He can be reached at charles.booker at colonialclaimsadjuster.com or just call him directly at 330-439-9074. Again, that's charles.booker at colonialclaimsadjuster.com. 330-439-9074. And right now is your chance to get on board with the best in flood and make a boatload of money playing in the water. And let them know that Adjuster TV sent you. Okay, so I said that there were two ways. What is the other way? The other way is not as common as flood claims, but is arguably easier. The best example was back in 2017 when we had almost $300 billion in damages from several intense storms, mostly from hurricanes Irma, Harvey, and Maria. What happened was that two huge intense storms made landfall about two weeks apart. Harvey hit Texas in August 26th, causing widespread damage and flooding and activating just about every available catastrophe adjuster in the country. And then about two weeks later, Hurricane Irma smashed into Florida. With all the adjusters already deployed in Texas, there was almost nobody available to handle the tens of thousands of brand new claims from Irma in Florida. And what happened next is not that common, but it does happen, and when it does, IAs are usually ready for it. Because of the lack of available boots on the ground in Florida, the carriers and the independent adjusting firms that service them were desperate for people. So they started raising the rates. Remember back when we said that IAs get paid by the claim? Well, that in combination with the fact that a lot of the damage on Irma wasn't necessarily severe, but occurred to very expensive things like large concrete and clay tile roofing, which by the way are easy to scope and write up, maybe like an hour or two, we had the relatively unique circumstance where adjusters were able to write large estimates pretty fast and were getting paid even more per claim to do it. Most adjusters that I know who worked Irma were making about $1,000 average per claim and were able to do at the minimum four of those a day. The most experienced and high volume adjusters were doing up to twice that. Many independent insurance adjusters were able to either pay off their houses or buy new homes with cash after Irma. Now this does not happen every year, nor does it happen every time that there's a year with a lot of hurricanes. But when it does, we as independent adjusters look at it as a windfall bonus year where we can really put ourselves in much better financial positions, saving and investing, paying off real estate, investing in real estate. Smart IAs might even pay off their vehicle or do an upgrade to their vehicle and gear, paying with cash, of course. But we're not counting on that every year. However, with the regular claims work that always happens every year, mostly windstorms and hailstorms, most cat property IAs can do pretty well, and the hardest working ones will earn a nice low six-figure income. 
every single year. So if you're interested in exploring this unique career field and learning more about just what exactly an independent property claims adjuster is, you can start watching our full What is an Adjuster playlist over at adjustertv.com. And the link is right down in the description below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. Adjuster TV, only sugar has more sugar.